a five, a six, a five, six, here we go. Okay. Basic. Basic. Tap turn. Change faces and reverse. Change faces and reverse. Connect and turn. Tuck turn. Change faces and reverse. Hello, Simon and Anna from SwingDanceUK.com. Well, the rhythm that we're going to do today is going to be quick, quick, slow, slow. Now I'm just going to clap it for you. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Join me. Everyone, let's clap. Ready? Five, together. six, here we go. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Freeze. Now you take that rhythm, and I hope you were clapping, and you place it in the feet. Now, leaders, you're going to start on the left foot. Now, who's the leader? Traditionally, that was the male. Follows. So, follows traditionally the female dancer. Uh, we're going to start on the right foot. So, we're going to turn around and we're going to do that rhythm. Two quicks, two slows. That's our six count rhythm because it's six beats of music. Let's try it. A five, a six. A five, six, here we go. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Two more times. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, and freeze. Did you notice we're a little bit on the toes, the knees were nice and soft, and there was a little bounce to our step. One more time, with the bounce. A five, a six, a five, six, seven, and a quick, quick, slow, slow. A quick, quick, slow, slow. A quick, quick, slow. So, and a quick, quick, so, so. Was it perfect? If not, play it again <laughs> and dance it again. Play it then, again, we're going to add on the rock step. Okay. So we're going to face each other this time, and we're going to go back on the leader's which foot? Left. And follows on the? Right. Okay. Take a little bounce, and step back on one. Take all the weight out the front foot. Replace on two. And a side, and a side. A back rock, side, side. Quick, quick, slow. The quick, quick is like running. Quick, quick, slow, slow. One, two, three, four, five, freeze. All the weight goes on the back foot, so there's no weight in the front foot. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And replace two, just repeat that. Back on one, replace two, and a side, and a side. Four times, no mistakes. Six can basic with a rock step. A five, a six, a five, six, seven, and a rock step side, side, a rock step side, side, a rock step side. One more time, a rock step side, side. Now, if you have a partner, we're going to try it with a partner. Leader's left hand, palm up, follows palm down. We're going to think, keep the hand in the middle, and on the first step we both went which way backwards so leaders are going to give a little push and the followers will step back the leaders pull we come forward and then we don't need to lead as much because our body's going to the side and the side if you haven't got a partner find a wall just imagine you're holding on to a wall quick quick side side you can do it with a door handle yeah just make sure no one's coming in or out when you do it um, you, do it with a you just need to practice. Be creative. So, imaginary partner or a real one. Five, six, here we go. Rock, step, side, side. Rock, step, side, side. Three. One more. Four. Three. So what we're going to do now is we're going to collect our partner on the first basic. We're going to go rock, step, collect. Collect. Do you notice it took two slows to get in there? One, two, three, five. Now, leaders, what did I do with my right arm? As I came forward, I signaled to my partner I wanted to collect. 
and followers, I'm matching that with my left arm and I, I, sh I match the same shape as the leader. So the first slow we're halfway there, the second slow we put all the way in. What do we do next? A rock step side side in the close hold position. One open into the close. A five, six, seven, and one, two, collect, collect, basic on the spot, basic. Now I have a question for you, Anna. Uh -oh. How do you know when I'm pulling you in, or do you just know to come in and step forward? Uh huh. So there's a little signal. Uh, when Simon wants me to want to collect me, instead of having just a push pull, which is quite small in the rock set, the pull continues. Plus, I can see Simon opening his arm. So it's two cues that that are telling me to go a little bit further and collect my partner. So I'm not trying to guess what's happening, but I'm trying to be really receptive to what I feel. Cool. Now, when you're in the close hold position, here we can take a nice big rock step, collect, collect. Now we're in a close hold. You can't really do such a big rock step. It's gonna almost step a little bit behind the other foot. Rock step, side. So maybe, if you look at the shape of the arms, my right shoulder, my partner's left shoulder, are a little bit friendly. They're a little bit closer. And we're gonna keep that shape, rock step, side, side, rock step. Let's just turn around so you can see it. So can you see how we're in a slight V shape? Although we're technically offset, which means right foot between the feet, right foot between the feet, we are slightly angled with a small V shape. Rock step, side, side. So we're going to do one basic in open to collect, then two in the close hold position. Yeah, a five, six, seven, and collect them. Close hold. Two basics and basic. Please. The last move of this section is called a tuck turn. So what is a tuck turn? Three little words. It goes push, prepare, turn. So, do you want to do the follows footwork? Sure. And leaders. I'll demonstrate my footwork in the background. I think you can probably follow me, but if Anna does the follows. Okay, so the rhythm hasn't changed and the feet haven't changed, but we're gonna give them a little bit of shape. What's happening in the tuck turn is the leader's gonna push towards my right hip, then he's gonna pull me towards him, and then he's gonna give me a little turn. So it looks like this from the back. Imagine this is my right hip on the right, my leader is pushing through, so it makes me step and open up to the right hip. You can think of it as opening the door. One, two. And then he's gonna to pull towards him, so I step towards my partner. If I imagine him, I'm just closing the door. And then all that's gonna happen is that I'm gonna close the feet. But at the same time, there's a little bit of impulse, so I'm gonna close the feet as I turn around, and that completes my turn. So all together with the rhythm, it's gonna go quick, quick, slow, close the feet. Or quick, quick, slow, slow. Leaders, were you copying me? Okay, let's do it. So Anna will do her footwork silently in the background. So we're in our close hold position. Leaders, you push the left hand towards your partner's right hip. That's the outside one, leaders, furthest from you, not the closest, furthest from you. That opens your partner up to the side. Push, and that's our quick, quick. The first slow, I take my left hand to the left hip and that brings my partner in, and winds my partner up, and then I'm ready to turn my partner in. Now it's a straight movement. You want to just lift the hand above the follower's head and close the feet, right to left. Let the follower finish the turn all on their own. Leaders, this doesn't help, stirring the pot. If you look at my shoulders, leaders, Although I'm stepping back on the left foot, my shoulders are turning to the right. So I get this contra body movement as I open up. Now again, I did say the hip, and I can see some of you have got the hand by the partner's ear, which is not the hip. I'm not a doctor, but I'm guessing it's down there somewhere. So we want to go hip, bring it into your hip, that winds your partner in towards you, and maybe at the same time, allow your partner to release from your right hand a little bit. So you've just got the hand connection, not the whole arm. And then I step on my right foot, turn my partner on the What comes next? A rock step. So this is what it should look like. 
Take a bounce, get down. A five, a six, five, six, here we go. Hit, hit, turn and a rock step. Okay, who ended up in this position? Hit, hit, uh oh, a little bit too close because I forgot to allow my partner to slide out of my right arm. So watch the right arm, push and whoosh. Still got contact, don't let go. Follows, you match the contact with your left hand and then turn a rock step. A little tip for the followers in the in the tuck turn, make sure that your right elbow is nice and relaxed and drop to the floor. So as I'm in turn, give you a turn, push, freeze. He's lifting my hand, he's not lifting the whole arm. So I only leave the hand up, but everything else is relaxed underneath and the elbow stays in front of me as I go around. Cool, I like it. No dental work required. <laughs> So let's turn around and try it from a different perspective. We start with the open position, two close hold, and then a tuck turn. A five, a six, a five, six, seven, and a rock step, collect, collect. A rock step, slow, slow, a rock step, slow, slow, tuck turn, push, tuck, turn, Repeat. and a rock step, collect, collect. Rock step, basic, rock step, basic, and hip, hip, hooray, and a rock set. Cool. So those basics, you can do them over and over again. Whole song, three minutes, fantastic, you're dancing. Mm -hmm. But we want to add a little flash. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add two extra beats. It's going to look like this. Change places, reverse. Change places, reverse. Now we call that a change place. I know we assume you've never danced before, but maybe if you've done a few lessons, you've probably done a change places where you complete the turn, boom, boom, all the way around. That's called a change places. We're going to do that in another video. But on this one, we're going to trick our partner. Uh -oh. We're going to do change places, block. So if I get out of the way, you can see my right hand very gently is just preparing to block my partner on their shoulder blade, but I'm not going to stop my partner here. I'm going to allow my partner to step back and forward. Now you notice I step back as well. I go back and forward and lift the arm and come back to where we started. One more time. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. So what was the rhythm? Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, with me. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, one more time. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. So if you haven't got a partner, practice the footwork, practice the footwork, so that when you go dancing, you don't have to think about it. It will just be, it will just be there in your muscle memory. Now, if we've got a partner, follows right hand, leaders left, we're going to start with rock, step, roll in, and reverse. Right, we're going to insert that on the end of our routine. It's going to look like this. A five, Open basic. A five, a six. A five, six, seven, and one, collect. two, collect, collect, two basics, slow, slow, and again, tuck, turn, push, tuck, turn, one, two, change places, and reverse, so we're going to do it twice, and reverse. Freeze, hold it there. We're going to do the same routine, but we're going to add one more thing, a little bit more spice, more flavouring. As I collect my partner, I'm going to begin to turn to my right leaders. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, boom. So I'm going to make one full circle, 360 degrees. Now, if you're on a really crowded dance floor and you want to go in the other direction, cool, you can use it to turn. But for our purposes now, let's go all the way around, face where you started. We're going to do it one time without turning, one time with turning. You're going to do it with us, and it's going to be spot on. Open position. Are you ready? A five, six, seven, eight. One, two, correct. Good. Two basics on the spot. As a tap turn, push, prepare, turn. Two of our change bases in reverse. A quick, quick, Check slow, quick, quick, slow. Collect and begin to turn. 
basic turning. And I'll tuck, do turn. One. Push, tuck, repeat. Turn. Flash move. Don't forget to smile. Connect. How do we do? Did you get it? Okay, let us know. Make sure you uh, send us a message to let us know you got the routine. Did we go too fast? Was it too slow? Let us know some feedback. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Or is it up there? Is or is it that way? Well, wherever okay. it is, hit the subscribe button. And we hope you've enjoyed this little lesson. Hope we've got you moving out of your chair. Thank you, guys.